Good morning and, and welcome on this Feast of St. Matthew, uh, Apostle, Evangelist, and Martyr. Our hymn is number 708, For All the Saints. For all the saints who from their labors rest, who you by faith before the world confessed, your name, O Jesus, be forever blessed. Alleluia, Alleluia. O blessed communion, fellowship divine, we feebly struggle they in glory shine yet all are one within your great design alleluia alleluia in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. On this feast day of St. Matthew, I think it's a good day for us to remember our sister parish on their patronal feast. I called their pastor this morning already, so let us pause as we begin our worship. Uh, let us thank God for the people who pray with us. Let us feel the presence of the risen Lord who is here, and let us enjoy the embrace of a God of mercy. God is in the word, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Lord is in the sacrament, Christ has mercy. Christ has mercy. And the spirit is in the community, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Now let us all pray together. O oh God, who with untold mercy were pleased to choose as an apostle St. Matthew, the tax collector, grant that, sustained by his example and intercession, we may merit to hold firm in following you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. One body and one spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all 
and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ until we all attain to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God to mature manhood, to the extent of the full stature of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Their message goes out through all the earth. Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out the word to day and night to night imparts the knowledge. The message goes out through all the earth. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds and to the ends of the world their message. Their message goes out through all the earth. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the customs post. He said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed him. Well, he's at table in his house. Many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, why does your teacher eat? with tax collectors and sinners. He heard this and said, those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. I'm going to begin with a question. And the question is this. Who among you are saints? Is there any saints in church this morning? If there are, will you please raise your hands? If you're watching at home and, and can't see the congregation, there were 22 people that raised their hands. I never realized how sanctified this congregation was. But that's a question um, none of us, all of us are reluctant to answer publicly. And I can assure you that this morning as I looked in the mirror, the person looking back at me was not a saint, especially since the language he used last night during the Packers' first half. So, so that's the first question. Now I got a second question. Are you holy? Now, before you answer that, I want you to go on a journey with me. Let's go back to Jerusalem. And over there is where the tax collectors gather. Now, I read a description that yesterday of uh, the taxing, tax system that Rome had and that was present in, 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 in Israel. And it was described as a cesspool of graft and corruption. That's a really neat example, someplace I'd really like to be in the middle of a cesspool. And there sat Matthew. 
right in the middle of it. He was part of it. He was part of that system, an integral part of that system. And here comes Jesus. Let's just watch this now. Jesus is coming down the street. And the Jews are looking at that black tax collector group and they with hatred. And Jesus stops. And he looks at Matthew and he says, Come, follow me. Matthew leaves his tax post and he follows Jesus. Why did he do that? Why did he do that? Matthew wrote one of the Gospels. And in the Gospel, he, refused to, he refers to the Messiah, to Jesus, as Emmanuel. God is with us. And somehow, when Jesus looked at him and pointed at him and called him, Matthew saw the face of God. Matthew saw the God of mercy. And Matthew realized something. If the God of mercy is looking at me, there must be some goodness here. There must be some holiness here. And so Matthew left his post, followed Jesus to the end. In this church this morning, and who's ever praying with us, there was a point in time that Jesus looked at each one of us, pointed at us, and said, come follow me. And we're here this morning. So we respond to that, to that call. Why did we respond to that call? Because that call of Jesus showed us Emmanuel, God is with us, showed us the face of God, the God of mercy. And so when we received that call, we, re we realized, yeah, there's been sin in our lives and we made mistakes. But there is goodness too. And there are graced moments and yes, we are holy. We are people called to pray. Let us respond to that call by praying to our God for the following intention. With the company of saints, we pray. Hear our prayer, God of life. Hear our prayer, God of life. For those who seek the word of life, for fullness of grace according to the measure of Christ's gift, we pray, hear our prayer, God of life. For those who carry on the work of the apostles, for lives worthy of their call, we pray, hear our prayer, God of life. For those who bear God's message as prophets, for humility in summoning God's people to faithfulness, we pray, hear our prayer. God of life. For those who teach and pastor for devotion to the one faith born in the one baptism, we pray, hear our prayer, God of life. For those who remain faithful in illness, especially those with COVID-19, for patience as they await the full stature of Christ, we pray, hear our prayer, God of life. For our nation, we pray, Hear our, our prayer, prayer, God of life. For Olivia Demuse, the intention of today's Mass, we pray. Hear our prayer, God of life. For the intentions on the parish prayer chain, we pray. Hear our prayer, God of life. And for your intentions. We pray. Hear our prayer, God of life. Gracious God, hear the prayers that have been on our lips. Hear the prayers that come from our hearts. Please grant all of our requests as we ask through Christ, your Son, our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, for the earth work of human hands become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, for the divine work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. May my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We celebrate anew the memory of St. Matthew. We, humble, we bring you sacrifices and prayers, O Lord, humbly imploring you to look kindly on your church, whose faith you have nourished by the preaching of the apostles through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, gracious God, almighty and eternal. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You therefore, gracious God, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hand. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, in that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands and confessing your mercy. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Gracious God, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son and in this saving banquet graciously to endow us 
but his very spirit who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, and your entire people, just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son. So also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with her spouse, Blessed Joseph, the blessed apostles and all the saints, with our sisters and our brothers, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship, bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth for the fullness of your peace will shine forth. Christ Jesus our Lord, through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days with the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your people. Graciously grant them peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share it. Greeting of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word in my soul. This is Jesus, Emmanuel. God is with us in this sacrament. Come receive him, adore him. This is Jesus, our Lord. This is Jesus, our Lord.
sharing in that saving joy, O Lord, with which St. Matthew welcomed the Savior as a guest in his home, we pray. Grant that we may always be renewed by the food we receive from Christ, who came to call not the just, but sinners to salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Lord be with you. And with Almighty God bless you all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Number 708, For All the Saints, verse 4. But lo, there breaks a yet more glorious day. The saints triumphant rise in bright array. The King of glory passes on his way. Alleluia.